Uh, good afternoon. This is uh, Rudy Arredondo, uh, president of the National Latino Farms and Ranchers Trade Association. And it is uh, quite a pleasure to uh, greet each and every one of you who is uh, uh, interested in terms of remediating our infrastructure. And I'm very uh, honored and pleased to be a part of the National Infrastructure uh, Coalition uh, Board. And uh, for us, those of us that are uh, members of the rural American uh, landscape, you know, we have been suffering over uh, decades to attempt to try to re remediate those deteriorating infrastructure. Uh, you know, we, we have tremendous problems in terms of uh, roads, bridges, uh, has uh, d delays our ability to transport our goods from the field to the markets. Uh, and so this National Infrastructure Bank for us is God's end. Uh, we need to ensure that we have in these days, I mean, most of the uh, platforms that are uh, in place, especially with this pandemic that is taking place right now, through Zoom meetings, and we need uh, fast uh, internet access, which we don't have. There's swaths of rural America, for instance, in northern New Mexico, southern Colorado, Texas, Arizona, unless you have a landline, you are really in, unable to uh, communicate with your colleagues and uh, be effective in terms of producing your product. So that's essential to us. Now we've had issues with, uh, right now in Northern New Mexico and Southern Colorado, we have a drought. Uh, is it possible to be able to uh, rectify that by being able to move water to those places which are in need? Uh, my farmers are, and ranchers in uh, Southern Colorado and Northern New Mexico or uh, inform me this just this weekend that they're having tremendous problems with regard to uh, graze lands and uh, grazing their stock. Uh, their concern is in terms of having to reduce their herd uh, and also being kicked out by the Bureau of Land Management and the Forest Service to graze their, their stock, which obviously means that uh, if you have to uh, take them out of the Forest Service or uh, BLM uh, public lands, then they will be, a, we, they will need to reduce their, uh, their stock because they can, they can feed, uh, be able to feed them. So those, those are of great concern to us. And we also have concerns with regard to the accessibility for federal agencies. Most of them require, if we need assistance, and we sure as heck do, uh, especially the small producers, which we represent, uh, you know, our organization represents over 75,000 Latino farmers and ranchers throughout the United States. Uh, for the most part, we uh, work in the Southwest, uh, in the uh, Pacific uh, area, in the far West and the West. And so that's a different geography. Uh, and not only that, it also, uh, it, there, you know, the rainfall is, is not uh, very good, especially these days. California, we're experiencing some drought as well. Uh, we're concerned about wildfires in those areas, uh, of New Mexico, Colorado, and California. And of course, you know, you've, you've, you have them elsewhere. So those are of great concern to us. And that's why it is essential for us to be able to uh, be a part of the National Infrastructure Bank and be able to have access to those resources so we can work with the states, counties, uh, to be able to provide the uh, resources necessary to be able to address these issues. Thank you very much.